Hey, Grace and Peace fam, this is Charles here with your midweek recharge. And this week I want to talk about true apostleship. Now, I pause because I'm generally not someone that likes to do a lot of deflecting. I'm not someone that does a lot of, if you were real, if you were a true or if you were a real one, it would look like this, or you would say this, or you would do that. I tend to not do that because, candidly, I think for me uh, and for others that maybe look at me from the outside, uh, I don't fit a lot of criteria that some might associate with a pastor or a preacher. Uh, you know, don't have a building. Um, uh, not really a congregation necessarily to speak of. So I try to be real careful about that. But I do want to share some criteria that was very interesting to me when looking at um, Paul's letter to the believers in Corinth. And we talked last week about how there was, you know, some division among the believers, and in particular, they were starting to divide themselves up into these factions, like these kind of fan clubs. And so Paul responds to that and really tries to end the issue immediately by saying, look, why are you sharing your allegiance to a particular preacher, a particular minister? We don't bring anything of ourselves into this role, into this position, Everything we have comes from above. And then he goes on to talk about how there was an opportunity for everyone, for the believers and the preachers together to, to reign in this spiritual dimension if they would give themselves to, to growth and development spiritually. But because they're stuck in this place where they're given to these childish divisions, the preachers are almost persecuted. And Paul goes through this list and talks about how they're abused and they're cursed and some of them are homeless and they have to work with their hands to feed themselves. And, and on and on, they're, they're, they're depressed and stressed and go through all these things. And then I start to think about modern preachers and I wonder how much the modern preacher represents what Paul described. And I wonder... If Paul were to visit today, would he recognize what a pastor is? So my challenge to you this week is to consider, particularly if you're someone in spiritual leadership, would Paul recognize you as a fellow laborer of the gospel? Would Paul consider you a true apostle? Let that be your recharge.